I wondered what would have happened if I had gone through the other door in the previous part. Whatever the case, there is now a door just sitting right ahead of us. Do we still have that grass glitch? Yeah, there's a glitch wherever you look up and you press left or right, it makes it sound like you're walking. But you really aren't. Whatever the case, let's go in here. What is this? I guess a dumpster? Can I go backwards? The fence was jammed shut. There was no reason to go back there anyway. Why would that jam that shut? Whatever. Uh, nothing. Garbage. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes. I cleaned the cart off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card, and now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Did somebody steal this from me? I wondered why they would have stashed it there. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. It probably would have been better if I said it sounded, because that would clarify that there was like referencing something, but I guess not. I guess we're going into here. And why is it raining so much? Does this game have something to do with water? I had entered Roman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. I needed to check that place out to see if I could find Norman. Or, or Norman. Yeah, Norman's not Roman. It's Norman. Or get help. There's an upstairs. It's over here. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. It looked like it could uh, look like, like I could just pop it open. It needed a key. There was a hit hint there was a bit of blood on the keyhole. Well that's never a good sign. Guess we're going upstairs. Go to try la la la. Alright. Uh there's blood that way, which means I'm going this way. What's in here? What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on the rack. That was what was that? that was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing here? A speck of something dark and wet stained one of the sleeves. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This isn't exactly going as planned, huh? There's a picture of what appears to be a scarecrow or a flower or something. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others who were there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the hell was it? What the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Sure, why not? I carefully pushed the piece back in place and felt a great burden lifted. Norman, what were you doing with all of these? Oh boy. Guess we're going in here. Hmm, okay. Things are getting kind of interesting. What's in here? What's that? What was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wonder where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yes. I gave the chain a single tug, and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. What's over here? That's actually a pretty cool light effect, even if very simple. Ooh, it's those hanging things I saw earlier in the tunnels. What? And a television and coats and What's this? A box? There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Yes. The old cardboard box was stuffed with wait, they were Rachel's things. Old clothes, photos. What were these doing in Norman's place? And where was Norman? I had to find him. I couldn't remember if we had given these to Norman for safekeeping or something. But why would we? Oh, these are getting interesting. Is this, does this mean I'm not the killer? Or am I still the killer? Is Norman the killer? Is there some strange monster? Because, I mean, I don't think either of us caused those scratch marks. And what was that shadow earlier? I really don't know what's going on here. Because we got to piece things together. A TV. The TV still flickered. Some indescribable channel. I couldn't make out what was on the screen, but that glow just gave me the chills. Jesus, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. 
Norman, my co-worker, was one of the few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside the, his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he had been shot trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you bastard, what were you doing here with Rachel? Did she do this to you? Did you hurt her? Norman, maybe you deserved better. Maybe not. Did I close his eyes? Yes, yes I did. Gently, I pushed his eyelids down. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand to look at him anymore. I hoped to hell Rachel had nothing to do with this, th with this, uh, with that mess. Uh, it's probably more likely you. Unfortunately, I was about to expect that maybe Norman was somehow behind this, but then no, we have to find him dead, and someone had shot him, and the gun was gone. Oh God, and I was just starting to expect him to. Oh, fucking a. There goes one possible plot narrative. Let's see, a table. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water reams from two cups still there in the wood. I'd never been to Norman's place before. At least I didn't remember ever doing so. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes. I found a harpin, or a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. There were takeout containers and food scraps. It looked like Norman was eating for two. Oh dear. Nothing on the fridge, I suppose. I hate to tell you this here, but I think my wife, Rachel, is cheating on me. I don't know why I just started off in my first person and started talking as him. I can start talking as myself and I start talking as him. We're the same person! That's the plot twist here. The player is me! <laughs> you did this, not me! <laughs> I used the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. If I had usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped, uh, stopped by after work if we needed anything. Yes, if we <coughs> needed anything. <laughs> oh, I could still go back here if I wanted to. But I don't really. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Were you thinking of going somewhere with Rachel, Norman? Oh, why would I even think that? That, was, that wasn't my first assumption at all. I guess maybe it was, though it was this guy's first reaction. He's either very, very suspicious or very, very jealous. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half-melted. What was the matter, Norman? Cheated on your hydro bills, too? <laughs> yes, we're thinking the same thing, me. <laughs> that was actually a pretty funny bad pun. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Why does the water tower keep popping up? And why is it raining? Ah, they could be connected. Of all the postcards, that one seemed to be the most popular. There were only a few left. Let's see, I guess through here? It'd been weeks since I'd... F It'd been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, and finding him that way still left me cold. Thinking of him slumped against that chair only cemented my reassurance in getting rid of that gun. It looked like someone had taken that piece from his store. But why was it in those tunnels? As I stepped outside, I recalled that dusty old box of clothes in Norman's attic. I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. And it's raining. Neighborhood, 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 walk. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. Of course it wasn't. Why would it be? I'll pass by the gates and see if there's anything I could possibly miss. Anything past the gates. There's a lot of gates. This one has a scratch mark next to it. Doesn't seem to be anything. Now let's find the right gate then. Is this it? I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. And nothing up there to look at either. Nothing pretty. I forgot to look back at Norman's office, didn't I? Yes, I did. I think I did. I always like looking back to see where I came from to see what I can possibly say about it. I, w I wouldn't have been able to deal with seeing Norman again. I was so close to home. It was time to move on. Oh boy, oh dear. Alright. If we look through here... The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. How about this one? That would be the right one. I know that because I walked through it. 
That door only led me back. I had to find my house. All right. This time again, we'll walk to the end before we check any of these doors, because any one of them could be right. Oh, what's this? The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out, as if someone had pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Well, we've looked at everything else. We might as well, right? The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. The letter read, Norman, I'm saying this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out, away from you. Both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him, Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me? I'm going to tell him and get past this. Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Well, that's kind of grim dark for me. And there's nothing else if I look at it. It's just a blank message. I guess my hero has lost his voice from... Oh my god, I have just confirmed my wife is cheating on me. Oh boy. Oh dear blood, that means that's probably the right way. But whatever the case, we might as well go inside. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Before we go on... I never did fix this gate. It was stuck. I needed to press on. There was no turning back at this point. And next time, I am assuming will be the final part of home. Ah, to you. You silly old folks, you.